Shalom, brothers and sisters. Yeah, hallelujah. I am over here reading the Apocalypse of Peter PDF. And now, guess what? I'm on the part that describes the descriptive the description of paradise. And I wanted to share that with all you brothers and sisters out there. Check this out. And my Yahua, Yahushua. Hamashiach, or king, said unto me, Let us go unto the Kodesh mountain. And his disciples went with him, praying, and behold, there were two men there, and we could not look upon their faces, for a light came from them, shining more than the, than the sun, and their raiment also was shining, and cannot be described and nothing is sufficient to be compared unto them in this world and the sweetness of them dot 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 that no mouth is able to utter the beauty of their appearance in quotations or the mouth has not sweetness to express how wonderful they are for their aspect was astonishing and wonderful. And the other great, I say, probably, in quotations, probably and in a word, I cannot describe it, <laughs> shineth in his aspect above crystal, like the flower of roses in the appearance of the color of his aspect and of his body, dot, 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 his head, in quotations, their head was a marvel, and upon his shoulders, evidently, something about their hair was dropped out, in quotations, and on their foreheads was a crown of of nard, woven of fair flowers, as the rainbow in the water, probably in the time of rain, from the Lexington, right? Ezekiel 28. So, Septuagint, right? Septuagint, Ezekiel 28, I-28. So was their hair. And such was the comeliness of their countenance, adorned with all manner of ornament. And when we saw them on a sudden, we marveled. And I drew near unto Yahuwah Elohim, Yahushua HaMashiach, and said unto him, O oh, my Yahuwah, who are these? And he said unto me, They are Moses, Moshe, and Elias. And I said unto him, Abraham and Ishak and Jacob and the rest of the righteous fathers. And he showed us a great garden open, full of fair trees and blessed fruits. And of the odor of perfumes, the fragrance thereof was pleasant and came even unto us, and thereof da 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 saw I much fruit, and my Yahuwah and Elohim Yahushua Hamashiach said unto me, Hast thou seen the companies of the fathers? As it, as is their rest, such also is the honor and the glory of them that are persecuted for my righteousness' sake. And I rejoiced and believed and understood that which is written in the book of Yahuwah, of my Yahuwah, Yahushua HaMashiach. And I said unto him, O oh, my Yahuwah, wilt thou that wilt thou that I make here three tabernacles, 
one for three and one for Moshe and one for Elias and he said unto me in wrath Satan maketh war against thee and hath veiled thine understanding and the good things of this world prevail against thee thine eyes therefore must be opened and thine ears unstopped that a, taber uh, that a tabernacle not made with man's hands which my heavenly father hath made for me and for the elect and we beheld it and were full of gladness Bernie you want to read it and behold suddenly there came a voice from heaven saying from the Shamaim saying this is my beloved Bane or son in whom I am well pleased my commandments and then came a great and exceeding white cloud over our heads and bear away our Yahuwah and our, our master and Moses and Elias and I trembled and was afraid and we looked up at the Shamaim open and we beheld men in the flesh and they came and greeted our master and Moses and Elias and went into another heaven another Shamaim and the word of the scripture was fulfilled this is the generation that seeketh him and seeketh the face of Elohim of the Elohim of Yaakov and great fear and commotion was there in Shamaim and the messengers pressed one upon another that the word of the scripture might be fulfilled which said open the gates ye princes thereafter was the Shamaim shut that had been opened and we prayed and went down from the mountain glorifying Elohim which hath written the names of the righteous in Shamaim in the book of life there is a great deal more of the ethopic text but it is very evidently of a later date the next words are Bernie Right cloud over shot. 
This is my son. Next, the Father hath committed all judgment unto the Son. The destiny of sinners, their eternal doom, is more than Peter can endure. He appeals to Mashiach to have pity on them. And Mayahua answered me and said to me, Hast thou understood that which I said unto thee before? It is permitted unto thee to know the, that concerning which thou askest, but thou must not tell that which thou hearest unto the sinners, lest they transgress the more and sin. Peter weeps many hours and is at last consoled by an answer which thought exceedingly which though exceedingly di diffuse and vague does seem to promise ultimate pardon for all my father will give unto them all the life the glory and the kingdom that passes not away it is because of them that have believed in me that i have come that i am come it is also because of them that have believed in me, that at the word at their word I shall have pity on them on men. The doctrine that sinners will be saved at last by the prayer of the righteous is rather obscurely enunciated in the second book of the Shibelin Oracles. A phrase in this part of the apocalypse and in the Coptic apocalypse of Elias. Ultimately, Peter orders Clement to hide his this to hide this revelation in a box. That foolish man may not see it. The passage in the second book of Sibley's articles, which seems to point to the ultimate salvation of all sinners will be found in the last line of the translation given below. The passage in the Coptic Apocalypse of Elias, starting a series of expressions of significance, it begins with a sentence which has a parallel to Peter. The angel will behold the sinners in the sanctuary and those who have persecuted them and delivered them up. Then will the sinners on their part behold the place of the righteous and be partakers of grace. And that day will that for which the righteous shall often pray be granted to them. That is, as I take it, the salvation of sinners will be granted at the prayer of the righteous. Whoa, hallelujah! So brothers and sisters, incredible. We should pray for each other and and rejoice. Rejoice and forgive and edify. Yah bless you and keep you. Yah shine his face upon you and increase shalom in you. Yah lift you up and uh, embrace you. Shalom! Yahuwah Yahushua Mashiach, King of Eternity, of Life. I love you guys. Shalom.